what I expected was to work with other people in a team and see how they doing it. So it's learning from other people. Well, uh, for WeCamp I was expecting yeah, to meet a lot of other people, having different ways of working, having all their yeah, different approaches. I'm not entirely sure what I expected. I, I, I expected that it would be a good experience. Last year I uh, attended WeCamp and I had a, an amazing time, really. Um, it was so, so different than what I expected beforehand. It was more freeing, it was uh, all the revelations that came to me actually, the feedback that I got from my coach. Uh, it was so different from my expectations that at the end of the first weekend, I already thought about the next weekend. So um, when it was announced, I immediately had the feeling I should be there because it's such a good experience. I heard about the concept the year before. I heard, spoke to a lot of people, or a few people who actually went here, and they said it more or less that it was a life-changing experience. Maybe not for them as a person, although some parts of it, but also certainly as a developer, because they learned so much in the, in the space of a week. I wasn't sure about the the uh, accommodation arrangements, but that's um, that's been really good. Yeah, so one of the uh, special things about WeCamp is that, um, you know, even within the first half day of people being on the island, um, I'm hearing stories of people saying, oh, I've learned so much already, you know, and that's within half a day of just being immersed. Uh, each team has a very different dynamic amongst them. Um, and my own team um, actually very quickly made, uh, made me obsolete. Uh, they uh, very quickly began self-organizing and worked very well together um, and it, it's been a great experience just getting to sit back and watch that um, and provide gentle nudges uh, every now and then to keep that process going. Uh, we are making uh, a bot that communicates uh, over Slack and it's also connected with a Arduino. Arduino that's um, a little computer that can talk to hardware so for example we can play a sound or ask temperature things like that uh, so early in the in in the event we actually set some goals I did that individually with each team member and throughout this event they've been trying to reach those goals and I've been helping them uh, get to that point where they can say at the end of the event you know I the goal that I had in mind, I've reached that goal. You really saw them uh, learn from each other as they, uh, uh, as they went through the project. They learned from each other's perspectives and not just, uh, you know, how do you solve this problem or how do you uh, uh, implement this technology, but really uh, how do you look at this and how, what, how would you approach this? Try some different uh, packages which we, yeah, some of us just found it somewhere, wanted to use it, or we heard from one of the team members, well, we use, we use this package, so let's put it in here, see what comes out, and that gives you also here the opportunity just to try things out, which, yeah, at work you normally don't have time for it because of the clients. Uh, everybody's feeling very, uh, a lot of responsibility, not only for the project that they're doing, but for each other as well. It's not just about the technology. In our day jobs, we work on technology and on that specific thing that we are working on. Whereas in WeCamp, everything is very much uh, free form. Everything can happen as long as you want it to happen. And uh, that's what I hear from everybody. They hadn't really envisioned this beforehand. And it's uh, sort of way more powerful and way more more of an influence than they expected beforehand.